going on? It's your girl Fathom DJ here with another Sunday's Truth. We got to do it. We got to have this conversation. We got to have this conversation. Um, let's see, about a week and a half ago, I posted on Facebook um, something to the effect of don't question those who are happy, question those who try to ruin happiness. So, of course, we have to have this conversation about you and the concept of being happy and those who are hell bent on trying to ruin it. You want to do it? Come on, let's go. So you're shining, you're bright. The sun is out. There is no cloud in the sky. The temperature is well into the 70s. It's warm, but it's not too hot. You're feeling yourself. Your outfit is fabulous. Girl, boy, you're doing it. People see your glow, they see your shine. Some people start to smile. They're reflecting your shine. They're reflecting your good spirited, good energy kind of day. And it's working. The music is on, you doing stuff, productive in your movements, everything is going well. And you got that one person, one, maybe two, maybe four, could be more, people who are frowning on your glow. Now, of course, my friends, of course, you can ignore them. We most certainly don't have to pay them any attention because, like I said, you're doing it. The issue is when they start to sabotage. Now, it is most certainly okay for them not to have to feel obligated because I'm not big on obligations, especially as it pertains to um, the concept of liking something that you really don't. I'm really big on you being true to that. Um, But the idea that you start to sabotage someone's motions and movements is where the problem lies. Now, this is something that just happens amongst us every day. Some people would call it hating. Yeah for you to be unhappy about somebody else's happiness. Happy um, is something that it could be, especially in our state of doing as it pertains to today, crime, lack of employment, lack of education, lack of opportunities. Happy could be hard to come by. So when you find those folks who are going through their day and they're buzzing and they're making good energy, something has to be wrong with you that you would seek to destroy it. So we want to talk to those people who seek to destroy happy because we got to maybe diagnose you. We might have to bury you. That might have to happen. But anyway, so yeah, so what is up with that? The concept that I can come into a space with good energy, that you can look at my timeline and see something happening and moving and it doesn't sit well in your spirit to the point that you gotta figure out how you gonna sabotage my situation. I ran into that a couple weeks ago. Everybody was doing that thing. Somebody wasn't happy about not being included or not having enough information or what have you. And so it must have been boiling, hurting, moving in their spirit to the point that when everybody started to get ready to leave the situation, they found a way to throw a monkey wrench, a monkey wrench all up in the video, all up in the motion of the movement. Because why? They're not happy. And whose fault is that? Not ours. Mm -mm. That's something deeper, deeper inside of you that you have made the determination that you don't want to deal with. But when you start to infringe on other people's joints, this is when it becomes problematic for the socials of it, for the society, for the community of it. When you start to infringe on the fact that little kids have to go to school and they may have to walk to school happy skipping parents with them dropping them off or whatever and you make the determination that you just want to roll through and jack up some stuff infringe on their right to go to school again we got to talk about that we got to figure out how to organize against you so this is where that 
concept comes from the those who create unhappiness we got to try to isolate y'all because it's a virus it's a plague it's toxicity at its finest I don't have all the answers for how we're going to do this work, but it is a it, it, it has to. It cannot stop our mission of being happy, cannot stop our mission of moving forward in our processes. But we do have to lend a little energy to figure out how to dismantle this so that it does not um, create an overall theme that becomes so hard to deal with that we stop moving because you can't really afford to stop moving if we need to appropriate a little time or a little energy to bury you we need to throw dirt real quick out the way cut because that's that toxicity thing that you're doing and it's infringing on everybody's movements you get it you got it it's quick it's almost six minutes I'm going to get this girl down where she needs to be. I'm going to send you cosmic kisses and well wishes to your day and week. This is Libra season, honey. And if you didn't know, because I deleted my birthday, I am a Libra. And it is our time to shine. All of those who are in favor of this movement of the Libra shining while I'm driving down King Drive raggedy as heck in Bronzeville. Y'all need to work that out. Um, if anybody wants to second the motion of the Libra shine and the season you might want to go ahead and get on it because it's happening fathom DJ find me in your webosphere hashtag finding fathom DJ you can do all of those things and I will see you soon space yeah